Hi everyone! In this video, we'll try to find the answer to the question What is a bug? It may sound simple, because the software tester's job is to find the bugs. But in fact, it is not as simple as it seems. Let's start with some pictures. All of us face problems using the software. And each time when we see the website, computer game or app does something incorrectly, we say there is a bug. You can pause the video and count how many bugs do you see on the screenshots. And we will answer this question in a minute. Let's check the definition of a bug. We provide you with two definitions. One is from ISTQB and the other is from Wikipedia. The link to its website will be provided in the materials for the lecture. You can pause the video and read those on your own. And once you finish reading, you can agree with two things. These definitions are very good and very complex to memorize. And as usual, we propose a human language definition. It sounds like this. A bug is a reason why a software system behaves incorrectly or produces an unexpected result. You can pause the video and read it one more time. Maybe it is less accurate than formal definitions, but at least it is possible to memorize. Now, when you have recalled the definition of a bug, let's check the screen with program errors one more time. You can pause the video. Read the definition one more time and think, what do you see on the screenshots? If all of the errors are bugs, or only some of them, or maybe even none of them are bugs. Let's take a closer look at one of the errors. For example, the something went wrong error. It's a typical one. You'll see it all the time on a real job. Can you tell what is the bug in this particular case? To help you, we'll write a defect report for it. Definition of the term bug one more time. And even a list of possible variants of which is the real bug. You can pause the video and check all the information. Hope who wanted to pause the video did it. So, the real answer to the question of what is the bug is... We don't know. We have no idea. Based on the screenshot and the defect report, you can't really say what is the bug. And that is why this question is not as easy as it seems. The problem is that in a lot of companies, software testers, automation engineers, QA or QC, engineers, no matter what we are called, don't even see bugs and don't even know what the bug is. The process looks like this. Tesser opens the website and does a couple of clicks. Or run the automation scripts, which still do the same clicks. At some point, the script fails and we can see the error, the same as we saw on the screenshots a minute ago. Then Tesser writes a bug report. Creates a ticket with all relevant information, so the developer can debug it easily. Developers read the report and do some magic. Once the magic is done, developers ask the tester to run the test again and check if the issue is fixed. Testers open the website or run automation tests. This time, everything worked fine and the defect report can be closed. Everybody is happy, but the tester has no idea what was the bug. And it looks like we found the bug. And it looks like it is obvious what the bug was. The website didn't work. But in reality, we don't have a clue what was the bug. The error page is called a failure, it is not a bug. We have a separate video about the differences in the terms. So how to find out what was the real bug? The answer is hidden in this part of the process. The developer does debugging. It is the process of finding and resolving bugs. So only the developer can tell us what the actual bug was, because he or she found it and fixed it. So, the bug in our case most likely is simple, the server was down, or a deployment was happening at the same time. That was the reason why you as the user faced the failure. The bug is not the error itself. It is not that you can't see the homepage, 
The bug is the reason why it is happening. We provided a couple of possible reasons why the error screen was down. The bug could be any of those. The question of what a bug is may sound simple, but it doesn't. We haven't discussed the reasons why bugs are happening, the potential types of bugs, and the differences between bugs, errors, and failures. All of this we will discuss in a separate video. You can pause the video and read the definition one more time. And that is our answer to the question, what is a bug?